just put my videos on YouTube just for me, just like so I can watch them. But I guess other people are watching them and they want to know what I got, so uh, let's just go through here for a minute. This is my 900 megahertz setup. It's in a black little box, patch antenna, 5 dB. Got a uh, Got the saw filter mod from Ready Made RC. Going down to Eagle Eyes. Can't really see in there too good. It's just an Eagle Eyes with a battery in there. I just got this stick that I can move to position the antenna as I'm flying. You know, just got the fat sharks. Here's a here's my transmitters. I bounce around. I really don't use one transmitter all the time. If I want to go far, I'll use my 900s. Here's one 900. They're all hobby wireless. They got the uh, they got that hobby wireless regulator board on them. This is my Lawmate 500, Lawmate 1000, Racewood 500. This is my 2.4 ground station, just a bag with a patch antenna. I just plug my goggles here. Nothing special. After I post this, I'm going to post a video. I've been doing tests. This is my uh, Galley 500. I've been trying to get the work good. I got the... I'm going off the live feed on the GoPro. I'm using the... The... Uh, the lowest HD setting. What is that? 720. 60 frames a second. It seems to have pretty low latency with that. I can live with it. I don't really do super fast dodge through trees, so it's all right. I got that uh, FY90Q Pro. It works all right. I've been trying to get an ads, but everybody's out of stock, so as soon as I can find one, I'm going to buy it. Yeah, that's got a... I got the 900 on there, Racewood, 900, 500. I got this from Hobby King. This is an iFly 4 whole thing ready to fly for 200 bucks really isn't that bad I like it I have fun with it got a little uh, what is that SN555 camera on there I got it set up to where I can stick whatever transmitter I want on there the quads I got for Tabla fast and uh, this is my Zephyr right here nothing special I got the uh, OS motor Man, I tell you what, these things from the factory are balanced perfect. Didn't even have to balance the prop. I get no jello in my video whatsoever. Got the Castle Phoenix 100 on there. On the front, I got uh, the GoPro box, the black sheet. And that's a, uh, uh, what is it, WDR 770 camera. Those are the best cameras I use. They work the best. They don't change at all when you're pointing at the sun and pointing at the ground. Can't really see it. The light's real bad. In here, but that's what I got in there. I got Eagle Tree too. Eagle Tree OSD Pro. You know, just a regular Zephyr setup. Oh yeah, this is a. Uh, I go between my uh, 900, 500, and uh, 2.4 uh, one watt transmitter in here. They both drop in, and I just got a uh, two V antennas. That I just swap out. That's my 900V right here. Uh, oh yeah, this is my... These are all my helicopters. I got a... Blade 453D. It's actually running off of... 433 megahertz receiver in there. It's the... Uh, TSLRS... Uh, normal range one. It works pretty good. It's kind of slow. The BSTEX doesn't really like... That receiver, but it works okay. I got the TSLRS long range receiver on the uh, on the Zephyr. This is the uh, this is the first FP FPV thing I built. This is my T Rex 500. I love this thing. This thing's so fun. Let's see. Let me take it out here. It's got a TSLRS long range receiver on there. Let's see if I can get a close up. 
I got the Eagle Trio SD Pro on there. It's got the WDR770 camera on there. This thing flies good. I balanced it real good. I have no problems with it whatsoever. Never even crashed the thing. Had it for like two years. I was flying FPV with my T-Rex 600 back here, but uh, I made the decision that it's too big and too dangerous. If it was to go down, it would do some damage, so uh, I put it up. But uh, I could get it. It'd probably take me an hour to put the crap back on there to get it going again. Uh, these some wings I built. This is a just a what is it? KFM2 airfoil wing. I beat the crap out of this thing. It's fun though. And this is a little one, 30 inch. It's got a KFM4 on it. I don't know if you can see that well. I got a I got an A frame with the carbon spars. It's real heavy but real stiff. When I get it up in the air, it's gonna go real fast. It's real rigid. There's a camera box I bought from it for it. Right wing, right wing style ailerons, whatever. I don't know. Well, that's about it. That's about my junk. Got one of my first helicopters still played SR, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My transmitters. I got a 9C. That's my long range. TSLRS system on there. I got a bunch of 72 receivers with it, but I've never flown anything with them, so one day I'll got to experiment with it. And then for the quads, this is my, uh, this is what I first started FPV with the 7C 2.4. I got a patch antenna on there. I've actually got an extremely good range. Never had a lockout. Never had a burp or anything with the with the uh, frequency transmission. It's been good. So I don't know. It works out. I got a. a I did a UFL to RPSMA adapter mod on it. You know, so I could put whatever antenna. I got the Wi-Fi booster, but uh, I never used it because I've never went out of range with this patch antenna on there. So I never had a need to stick something else on there. But that's about it. Probably for the next quite a few videos is going to be this quad. I'm trying to trying to get it going good. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, thanks for watching.